Today I'm going to talk about using a $2 microcontroller versus using a $15 microcontroller. Welcome to Drunken Electronics. Sometimes you want to make a standalone project. Now you can still use the Arduino for that, just plug it in and let it do its thing. However, if you're trying to make a whole bunch of them, or you need something smaller, like this, which is a just a little light that fades colors. I made these for my wedding. You want something smaller and cheaper. Hence, the AT Teeny chip. This is small enough to fit pretty much anywhere, runs off three volts, and has enough output pins to do pretty much anything you could want. It's a great little chip to play around with, and the best part, it's only $2. So instead of spending $15, for every single light and having it be significantly bigger. I was able to go with a $2 chip and another 50 cents in parts. It made a big difference when I was making 20 of them. To program the ATT boards, you need to first install the ATT core, which lets the Arduino IDE talk to the ATT chips. I found that AT Teen Core by Svens Conde seems to work the best. The link is in the description. First, just go to the installation page. And then we want to use this board manager URL. You go into the Arduino IDE and then preferences. And we want to add a board manager URL. Hit OK. And then we go to Tools, Board, and Board Managers. And wait while it downloads stuff. And then we look for the ATT. ATT Core shows up. Go ahead and install the newest version. And there you go. Now the Arduino is ready to program our uh, AT Teeny chip. Since we're going to be using the AT Teeny 24, we want to go down to board, scroll down until we get to the AT Teeny 24, and let me open up a the sketch I use for. Once you have the code set up though, to program it, just hook the breadboard up. Now that you have the board set up, you can just upload the script. Now that you have the board set up, you can just upload the program to the ATT by hitting upload. And there you go. Now you just take the chip out and or on the breadboard hook it up and it's ready to use with your code on it once you have the arduino ide set up you're ready to program it you've got the breadboard set up got the chip on there all you have to do is upload the code wait for it to verify and then you can simply take the chip out and place it into your project.
carefully. And apply power. And you have made an Arduino project that only costs two bucks. Heck of a lot better than spending fifteen dollars a pop when you're making twenty or thirty of these. If you like this video, please subscribe and hit the like button. Thank you.